hike it up a little bit. Yoga is demonic. How beautiful. It's actually offensive. Yes, yes. Random dog. This must be something that's new that we had to pay for before we got here. It's nominal, maybe $30 or something like that. But it's like, oh, I had no idea. And then you no longer have to do the, the sheet on the phone, on the on the actual airplane that you fill out. It's actually virtual now. Somehow, somewhere with our passports, make things easier. So that's a good thing. It was raining at home, so I'm happy that it's 80. Cloudy, but still 80, so. Good. No, we gotta get out. Here comes all the harassment. My, my, my. I'm listening. Oh, the, wow, the aggression of it all. My goodness. I know they gotta hustle, but dang. Okay, hold on, hold on. Alright, let's go straight. We already have a ride, so let's just go straight. Oh, this is not aggressive. My, my, my. Text my ride because wow. Alright, we're waiting here at Margaritaville for our ride. The driver told us to wait here. Wow, so I don't miss how aggressive people are when you walk out of the hotel, the airport. And I get it, they're trying to do their job and get solicit rides and stuff, but my goodness, they're very, very, very aggressive. And in the note when I booked the shuttle, it did say to be wary. Yeah, wary of people who are gonna do that. And I remember it being like that anyway last year, but wow, it was like scary. Thank you. Welcome to Cancun. Gracias. Vamos al Hilton Cancun, right? Yes, Hilton, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. For my hands? Okay. All right. Oh, well. Okay. Welcome. Gracias. Please check it inside to the left. Alrighty, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, where's the elevator? Uh, there's an elevator right here. I know it. Oh, Good job. The guy that helped us check in said that this place has been open for a year. So it's brand new. Lux. Just love it. Look how gorge. Ooh, look at this bathroom. Oh, we have two separate areas for the... Okay, we have the shower. 
This is definitely giving brand spanking new five star vibes. Ta da! Love this bathroom. What? How cute. Oh, we're at an angle. Oh, oh. okay, here we go. Oh, nice and warm out here. How gorge. Yes. Yes, honey. Not, not too big at all. Nice, cute little pool. So now where's the kids area? Are there two different areas? Because, hmm, we're going to figure that out. I love this so much. It doesn't look overwhelming at all. Like at all. Listen, one thing about me, I love me some Mexico, okay? It is right down the street. You cannot, you don't gotta tell me twice. I love me a good little Mexico. Mm -mm. I love it. Obviously obsessed with this place and now to order <sighs> room service. As I wait on the luggage to come up, you heard me. What are you saying? Please. so hungry but keto must win so i got pasta no pasta and i got some nacho fixings which i'm gonna just eat by itself and this is what it is right now so of course i brought my handy dandy canon i always get this confused because there's a canon r Five and an R6, and I want to say an R. So I began to confuse, but this is the R6, to remind myself. It says it right here, the, and I have the 50 millimeter lens, and I cannot wait to take some really blurred background, depth of field photos. I am just elated about it. I'm excited about it or whatever. I don't feel entirely full. That wine was actually sweet, so I asked the guy to get me a Chardonnay. He got me sparkling wine. I was hoping it'd be a Prosecco. It felt like it was a less sweet Moscato. And I was like, ugh. So I did my best today with keto, whatever, right? The way, this is the way I see it, being on keto for so long now. If I'm not in ketosis, but at least I was still on low carb, I'm happy. Like, if I might eat stuff somewhere, like now, and not realize that it has sugar in it. Like that dressing, this is the dressing I think has sugar in it as well. I'm not gonna be in ketosis, but what I ate today was definitely low carb. A win is a win, okay? So that's how I see it. And then later I'll make sure what I eat is low carb as well. I don't feel full. I still feel a hole in my stomach, like something else can go inside of it. But I'm gonna go easy and I'll eat later. <laughs> I gotta take the lens off though. It's the blurred background for me. Because this is a five-star luxe hotel, and it, it wasn't cheap, mind you. Like, we bought it last minute, but it still wasn't cheap. It's definitely a grown and sexy vibe. I don't see young people here, which I like. You know, it's Cancun, but it doesn't have to be freaknik. A lot of adults, some adults, but I like how calm it is, I have to say. It's reminding me of that adults-only resort in Cabo that I went to last year for my birthday in the way that it looks and just the calmness of it, I have to say. We need to go to the beach. Ooh, finally outside. Now this is a very family trip for me, so I, I'm i likely gonna wear the same swimsuit every day. You know me, I bring my, my <laughs> detergent. I bring my powder detergent, so I'll be hand washing this. Watch a little girl sprinkle. And I have on some shorts in my bag. And literally, literally these Amazon squishy cloud type sandals. I'm keeping it real chill this particular vacation. This one in particular. It was very, very last minute. Ooh, taking pictures. This is a really great spot. And that's the cutoff for us with the water. Okay. These are my Amazon cloud slippers, honey. I just love vacation. There's nothing like vacation to make me happy. And it was raining at home, so like, what? Love it. Back 
aside from the most just fascinating, really fun Mexican version of Aladdin that I really did enjoy. They did a really great job. It was really nice. And now getting ready for bed. These lashes were barely even on. What? They came off. <sighs> These came off way too easily. That tells me that they weren't even really on like that. What? <laughs> So, trif you know what it is. Trif Let me introduce you to these tongue scrapers that I never even, I mean, I've heard of them, but I wasn't using it because in Ghana, we use a hard toothbrush. If you know what I mean by the hard toothbrush, comment and let me know. And that's what I've used all my life, right? It, I have always had a separate toothbrush for my teeth and one for my tongue. There's never... A, a, it never works to use a soft toothbrush on the tongue. I said it, it's disgusting. It does nothing. It's actually offensive. So we always use a hard, well, always use a hard toothbrush and then you have a soft toothbrush or medium usually. And some people use hard on their teeth, but you know, killing the enamel. I mean, I already white and so you gotta pick and choose your battles, you know what I'm saying? So uh, hard toothbrush on the tongue, but I discovered with that smart, smart, oh, smart wash, whatever, I'll link it below, that mouthwash that I love that works really well, the two chambers, double chamber, it always comes with this tongue scraper. And I'm always like, why are you sending this to me and I put it in the trash? Well, one day I said, let me try this annoying plastic thing. Honey, I tried it and I am in love. I don't know what I've been doing since. I ordered a container of them. I think there were 40 or 100 in them, something like that. And it is absolutely breathtaking how amazing this works. If you are not scraping your tongue, just stop, okay? We call it brushing our teeth, but we re there are really four steps to this. There's floss, there's mouthwash, there's brushing the teeth, and there's brushing the tongue. Like, let's just, please, you know? And hopefully you already know that. Look at these pimples on my chin, I'm so irritated. So hopefully you already get that. Like, this shouldn't be a surprise to you, please, please. And if it is, please. Let's just do better, you know? This is so good. You just bend it. It's plastic. And I, I use the same one for weeks. It's just me, right? But I have a whole container of them and you can change them however you see fit. And you just scrape down the tongue. And my tongue is pink because I be scraping, okay? I don't deal with white, anything caked up, brush, not gonna happen. Not sanitary, one of the causes of bad breath, an issue. Not only that, you need to floss. Food, bacteria between the teeth causes bad breath as well. And then we need mouthwash to clear the bacteria, uh, the, the bad bacteria on the sides of the mouth and the roof of the mouth under the tongue. We need mouthwash, right? It's not just brush teeth and go sit down. It's the whole shebang. Like, I don't feel like people are doing what they're supposed to be doing and we don't talk about it. So let's talk about it. You feel what I'm saying? This thing is miraculous. My mom used it. She went way too rough with it. <laughs> So she's taking a break. You can definitely go rough with this. You can definitely go soft with this. It actually has two sides, regular and soft. I'm trying to tell you some right now. I'm gonna link it below. This is very, very important. And get back, get the back of the tongue. Don't just be getting the front that shows when you talk. No, 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 no. Get mind you, my lips is well, so if you see it, that's why. Get the back of the tongue, please. Me pa my chill. This is very, very serious. This is not something to be playing with, okay? Like I, feel like I always say, it's a problem for me. If you look pretty, you smell good on the body, but the breath is just not working. It's just, it's offensive, you know? It's very offensive. No lies torn upon the world now the sun the time will heal our hearts and everyone has a friend and that rhyme will always win and love will never end I'm gonna figure all the notes ne never This is my grown up Christmas wish. And this is my, this is my only life on wish. Is that how it goes? This is my, this, this is my only life on wish. This is my grown up Christmas. Christmas wish. I was a I was a Chris. Hey. Cause I'm crying, my Chris. Chris. 
I almost said Christmas wish. Ah, when I want to say Christ, Christmas wish. Yo, the tongue tellization, tongue tellization. No. Sometimes it's very powerful. Anyway, let me, I gotta get this makeup off my face. You feel what I'm saying? My cleansing balm, bad habit. Life empty. It's almost done. Why does it look like this? Wait, hold on. It's not supposed to look so light purple. It's normally a richer, darker purple. Or maybe I'm just not, I don't know. Wait, mm -mm, it looks different. It's just old. I am so done. This is about to be finished before I leave here. I need to replenish this when I go home. Ooh, this expires in six months, please, man. <laughs> this is definitely expired. Oh, no. <laughs> Good thing it's a cleansing bomb and not something I leave on. Ooh, that's not gonna work for me. Mm -mm. Okay, let me get my face wash off home because that is so. Trif what is it? Trifling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you ever wipe the eyeliner right underneath your eye? Sometimes the, what you call it, the cleansing balm and the face wash doesn't get that off. And sometimes it does. So that's one area I definitely have to always go over. And then I wipe my hairline because of the color wow and contour. Ideally, I would have done this in the shower and then really washed it into my hairline but I don't feel like it tonight. I will wash my hair tomorrow. <sighs> oh, these chin pimples, wowzers. This one is drying out a little. This one is drying out, but oh, it just, and oh, they're just so shiny and irritating. So actually tonight's skincare is going to consist of first this hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. My face is feeling dry. I didn't bring it up. Facial spray. Actually, hang on. I do have a mini one from Rare Beauty. Let's spray this right now. I had it in my makeup section, so I forgot I had it. Okay, so here's a hyaluronic acid. Hydrates the skin, maintains plumpness, and this is going to create a barrier between my skin and my i showered early before we went to the aladdin thing that was my third shower of the day so i'm not going to shower again that's why i'm wash, just washing my face so oh i that's why i went to see the aladdin show in the amphitheater it was so nice so yeah this is going to be a barrier for my skin because i'm going to do my acne treatment today because it's time and also i'm just sick of the breakouts that i have right now and you know that i use tretinoin and I sent and I sent my I hand washed our swimsuits because I didn't first of all I had 24 hours back. Second of all, no need to bring a whole bunch of stuff. So we didn't really hand wash. You know I will pack lit uh, powdered laundry detergent in a heartbeat. Listen, we just hand wash it right up in the sink. That's what I know to do. And it comes in handy in a clutch. Okay. So yeah, this is going to create a barrier for my skin, my prescription treatment, which is a combination of clindamycin, tretinoin, and niacinamide. Clindamycin is the acne treatment for these breakouts. I have rosacea. Sometimes it looks like rashes. Other times it's got pimple. And then I, the niacinamide helps to lighten up dark spots and maintains oil. Oh, I just used two pumps. I should have just used one. This stuff is strong. So <laughs> it normally leads to peeling of my skin, which I actually quite enjoy because what it's doing is shedding the top layer of my skin and unearthing a plumper, smoother, lighter because it's taking away any darkness, dead skin, and lighter layer of skin underneath it. Hence why my face is lighter than my body. That's usually the case for a lot of people, although it can be opposite. But for me, it's definitely because of the exfoliation. Retinol is a chemical exfoliation. It's nothing that's physical. There's nothing that's scrubbing on my face. It, it's going to melt off that dead skin. I'll tell you that much. Avoid the eye area, of course. And if you saw, today I just used the, the Rare Beauty spray on my eyes. 
And you know, for a quick skincare routine, that really does the job. I do have eye cream, but I'm not gonna use that. You know what, let me go with hyaluronic acid again on top inky lift because this is gonna really, and I don't need to rub this too much, just get it in place. This is gonna really help aid in the hydration that I need. What is that? Oh, tissue. Then that, that I need because the prescription treatment is drying. It is very drying. Whenever I use it, that next morning, I, I expect to wake up dry. It's just really powerful and strong and it works. So it's just one of the at what one of the benefits or one of the side effects, whatever. It's just one of the things that I'm just used to. And I've been on this prescription for ages. All right, so there's that. And now my moisturizer. Sometimes I just put Vaseline after this, honestly, keep it real simple, but I didn't bring any. So this moisturizer is Fresh Beauty Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Base Cream. This is new. I've used Fresh Beauty products for a while, of course. I've worked with them as well. This particular product, however, is new. I just unboxed this this morning, actually. It was yesterday. Oh, it was a nice light scent. I enjoy fragrance. You know that. Fragrance makes me happy, so I don't have any issue with that. Let's put this on. Mm -hmm. Nice and rich. The challenge with my skin because of my microblading is right here in between my eyes because I avoid it because I try to avoid my brows when I do my products. Well, this skin right here is textured and it, it it's not as smooth as the other areas of my face because I'm avoiding that spot. Problematic. So I was reminded today, I'm like, and yesterday I was like, oh, why does it feel like that? Well, because I'm not getting it as well as I can. I'm gonna take care of that, you feel me? Okay, not too much rubbing because we've got Buku product on right now. Just get it into place and let it sit there. Oh, okay, I was about to say I should have put a BHA on my chin. However, a retinol is a BHA. It's, 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 a, it's prescription grade. It's going to penetrate the deeper layer of my skin and that's what the BHA does. So retinol is, is a stronger version of any of your over-the-counter BHAs. So no need to do that. No need to target my chin specifically because my prescription is going to do that. It's going to take some time, but it's going to work. Okay. Now we have the sun. It was so cloudy yesterday. Look how gorgeous. Here we go. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, so they got yoga going on down here and, you know, I'm all for stretching and peace and all that, but you know what? I'm slowly realizing that yoga is demonic because it looks like they are summoning some sort of spirit. I mean, sound off below, but let's keep it cordial. You feel what I'm saying? We got this smoke going. I'm hearing some kind of noises. Right, as if music isn't sound, or as if the waves crashing isn't noise, but you get what I'm saying. It is giving who I'll be worshiping to. That's what I'm thinking of. Now, you know, it um, probably is part of the culture, and that's fine, right? There's there's evil even in Ghana, right, with uh, putting curses on people. So that's not far from me. I'm just saying, when it comes to yoga per se, it's like it's like a yeah, friend is saying, oh, sets us, Sagittarius, and all that stuff. Oh, what sign are you? I'm the sign. I believe in Jesus Christ. I don't do signs. I don't know what that means. Anyway, those are just my quick thoughts. Because I heard some noise. I'm like, what's that noise? And I see this smoke. Mm -mm. I don't know what kind of smoke this is. Please, I'm begging you. Mm -mm. I need to. But finally, the sun is up. Finally, the sun is up, man. It was cloudy yesterday and even cloudy this morning. So I am so glad it is up now. Look at it. So gorgeous. 
hope it's a sunny day today so it can be warmer and we about to get our room service and hit the beach i cannot wait Aww, this place is so beautiful Ooh, yummy. Ooh, plantain. Huh? Mm, yes, so. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. usually I keep my suitcase essentially packed so that when I have somewhere to go I don't have to do too much well clearly that came in handy with this trip because it was a last minute trip so I only packed I mean I have this swimsuit from Amazon and and it ties right here so you can hike it up if you want to you know what I'm saying hike it up a little bit and praise God for me that I'm doing laser hair removal because there was nothing for me to shave and like that like I this stuff is working okay anyway I washed this yesterday with my hands you know like I said I have the, the powder detergent and I it's almost dry but it's fine with lots of warm water no big deal I just showered because you know I like to shower it's not good I lotioned with cocoa butter because why not and then I put this all over the body this is the nest New York perfume oil absolutely great this this scent I almost said flavor this scent is Madagascar vanilla perfume oil gives a nice shine to the body and it smells decadent okay so that's what's gonna give me the shine I like for when I get out of the water not to feel dry you know I don't like dryness and yes I'm wearing this again day two this was more of a casual vacation anyway so I'm not really here to be stunting or whatever it's a cute mom bathing suit I'm wearing my Amazon cloud sandal and this <laughs> knockabout dress that I love I wore it yesterday in the evening after I had showered so it's clean and I'm wearing it today as a cover-up you can open it up and all that but I'm just gonna let it hang down like this like these you know got a little leg action these are my beach everything shoes because they're comfortable and whatever water you know rubber the whole nine yards right oh when I did not do my hair I'll deal with it later <laughs> I didn't feel like it this morning taking it casual again casual LA. but this is going this is going to turn up a little bit you feel what I'm saying my little Chanel -y sunglasses or whatever let me clean the inside these I have to say sit really close to the face and they're borderline too tight but like hello and i didn't do edges okay again taking it casual right now no edges All right these are my chanelis so cute we'll go outside right now to this other pool area which is right here and yesterday there was a dinner happening over here i'm gonna see what that's about tonight so you have to actually pay for this beach chair type thing and of course i could choose that right there next to the water but when I think about spreading all my stuff out and just being comfortable, I don't want my stuff falling into the water. We're just going to go ahead and get this for the day. He said it's two thirty-five. dollars get a bottle of Moet and seafood. It's $100 just for the seafood. So we're just going to go ahead and just do the seafood because I don't need the bottle of Moet. Like what? Yeah, I'm not interested. Not today. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do this. I can lay out and lay my stuff down and in peace you feel what i'm saying <sighs> so we had a time at the pool did i show you i don't even know i was gonna do that bed but then after quick second thought first of all nini the pool that was in front of that bed area was too deep for him to be in it comfortably so then i realized we're gonna be moving around i'm not gonna purchase this bed for a hundred dollars and so i told the guy no thank you he was nice about it oh so it's mine but then I later realized, yeah, good thing we didn't buy it because then we, oh, my eye. then we went to the pool or the beach, then we went to a different area, and all of that moving required me to move my stuff. I'm not gonna just leave my stuff I'm charging my camera battery. I'm not gonna just leave my stuff in one place and then be walking all over the resort. So I was like, you know what? We need to be mobile. We, I can't be stuck to this thing for the whole day. I'm not gonna pay for it and not be laying on it all day. So 
yeah we just did not purchase that but the beach was so fun I spent a lot of time taking pictures and then I put the camera down and then just got in the sand if you know me you know I don't do dirty but I let I'm, I'm working on letting myself go it's just important to just live life you know just living life enjoying things so I did that and I'm really happy and then we obviously rinsed off and the nice thing is in the kids zone they let you rent or just lease out loan out the buckets to do sand castles so we had a lot of fun doing that and now we order room service because we we're gonna go eat somewhere but we were wet and we we're just like okay let's just come back shower so did my second shower and then I'm like I didn't bring enough body wash for all these showers <laughs> I think we'll be okay but you know I'm not sure <laughs> We're going to be okay because yesterday I showered three times and then today two times. So, two times so far and it's 11 a.m. So there's still more to go. I'm watching a video. Susan Yara mixed makeup while I wait on room service. And then we're going to just chill it out for a little bit, take a nap, and then see what the evening does for us. They have a lot of activities, which is nice. And I, I have a bunch that I want us to do, but I also just want to chill. just want to chill right now. I've been up since 6.30. I mean, I've been... I been getting up i didn't sleep peacefully the whole night so yeah girl so yeah i'm enjoying it here though it warmed up which is nice it did warm up today praise ye jehovah hi how's it going sorry how's it going good just want to order something are you closed yeah you're closed no we're in the park we're closed to the oh okay we're just waiting on someone to Serve me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, my God, what in the world? Everybody's right. sitting here cleaning, like, assist who the hell is in it. I don't understand that. I was standing here before her. Why would you like to have it? I want a drink, but I was standing here before she was, and I don't understand this. So why why wasn't I served? I know you said that these two guys are the servers, but he was standing here. I've been standing here. He never asked me what I wanted, but he's he serving speak her. English. Still, I bet. he's serving her though. No, you don't know what he's doing. He's well, he's behind the counter. This is the problem for me. Yeah, well, I don't know why I was standing here and no one asked me what I wanted. Nothing because I told him, ask her and ask her, ask you. Who, the guy in the, the blue shirt? I told no, the, the guy the in the blue shirt, if he's cleaning, and now he doesn't speak English, he's, so I this told him. So this right, right here, with the yeah. bottle? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was standing here yeah. before this lady, is what I'm trying to say to you. I know, I know, and I know, so but I came here her. to serve you. Okay. I came here to serve you. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't have enough money yet. Sometimes kind of situations. Okay. But uh, why would you like to have it? I'd like a diet coke and rum, please. Right away. Thank you. I don't know what that's about. Like what in the world? Oh, okay. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? crashing waves oh how lovely got some vendors over here oh. bling bling oh okay <laughs> i got some bling bling huh every time i come around the city bling bling oh look 
Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, the ornaments. The helmets. Oh, the coffee mugs. How beautiful. Oh, look how cute these are. Oh, they're like little bubble tea cups. That's beautiful. Oh, how cute it is. Oh, I love it. Hey, Jesus Christo, and yes, Simone, what are we doing here? Huh? You want one, say? One of what? Mm -mm. Look at this. Oh, wow. You have a wrestling match? Which one? Which? What is he? Is he making something? That's yeah, so nice. Sports. Wow. It's the fresh chicken for me. Oh my god. Soy del sur sangre morena. Good morning. But it's Buenos dias. <laughs> We're getting our umbrella set up. Gracias. Is there where we can get a table? That's what? Gracias. We're getting our table set up over here and a little umbrella. Thank God. Bye. Hola. Yes. A little tape. Hey. Oh, hey there. He's moving it. Oh, okay. Oh, amazing. Perfecto. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, okay. I was like, what is he What is he coming over here to do? He moved the umbrella. So that is perfecto. It's right in the right spot because where it was, yes. Yeah, so now when we lay down, it's really covering us. Bueno, 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 bueno. Oh, here comes a table. It's very, very nice. Yes, yes. Amazing. And now, how about towels? Oh. Yes, please. The corner. For a moment. Two, three. Uh, four, please. Four. Gracias. Wow, they're very nice. I gotta say, the the customer service. Something yesterday at that one bar. I mean, honestly, that was a fluke. These are very, very good people, in my experience. So I'm very happy. Okay, good. So here we are now. This is Wednesday, so it's day number three. I recycled this swimsuit from Miami. <laughs> it was just in my, in my, it was in my suitcase. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Leave stuff in the suitcase. Yeah, you hear me? Leave stuff in the suitcase. Yeah, you hear me? All right. And I got my stuff because I'm filming a reel. So I brought my tripod, the one that I got in LA from Best Buy. It is amazing. Look how small it is. And I got my camera. So hopefully I can get what I need to finish off my reel. We are gonna see. But right now I'm about to go in the water. Yesterday I did not do my face, and I can't lie, I didn't feel the greatest. I didn't feel confident, I didn't feel pretty, I just felt like I was asleep the whole day. <laughs> and honestly, I felt like I was asleep because I was just tired, yo. But today I said, nah, son, we and we get, we're gonna put our face together. It makes a difference, it makes a difference. So, my face is on today. And my Chanel sunglasses, they're extremely close to my face, so I can't wear them when I have on makeup and lashes, because makeup with makeup comes lashes. So, because I have my makeup with lashes, here come my Key Australias because these give me space for my 5D 50 millimeter <laughs> lashes, whatever millimeters this are. This is, it gives me space to put them on, you feel me? Without them scratching, there's the issues that with the other ones to be scratching my, my lenses, you hear me? Let's go in the water a little bit. The water is cold as you can imagine, but then it gets. Obviously, your body just gets used to it, you hear me? Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. This is so peaceful I kid you not I mean granted I don't go in the water because hello face of makeup and I just don't like my face and hair in the water I have not put my face and hair in a pool or a beach in maybe 20 years I just don't do that but one of my goals for 2023 is to go take swimming lessons so I already purchased the goggles and I already have my hair cap 
my swimming cap because I don't I just it doesn't it doesn't feel natural to me it is unnatural to me mind you my nails came off because I didn't put them on that amazingly and one came off so I was like you know I'm gonna take the whole thing off and usually I would have a, a, a kit to do it again in my bag and usually I'd have a kit in my bag to redo them and I didn't have that so you know no big deal but I cannot wait to do my swimming lessons I'm recording good job but I cannot wait to do my swimming lessons because I want to be 100% good at swimming. I can doggy paddle, I can manage my life in the water, but I still have fear a bit in the water. So I can't wait to just nip all that in the bud and know how to 100% swim comfortably. And I'm gonna do that in 2023, okay? Conquering fears, sitting in the sand at the beach, getting filthy, and then rinsing it all off and being okay with that. Being okay with that. I don't have OCD, but I've got some, I don't like a lot of stuff. <laughs> So, challenging myself beyond my norm, and I'm actually excited about it because I feel like I'm living, you know, we need to live. In many ways, having all these restrictions limits, it limits true living, and I'm on a journey to really, really live. Not exist, but actually live. Okay, so if that even resonates with you a smidge, I'd love for you to comment and let me know if there's anything that is out of the norm for you that you've decided to challenge yourself on because, <sighs> yes, I've made it this far by the grace of God, right? But I really want to just do more, like sitting in the sand, like my butt in the sand, just put a, put a swimsuit on, and letting the sand be all of my legs. Jai, mm-mm, me, mm-mm, jai, mm-mm, mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it because it would have never been me. Couldn't have been me, you know? But again, the challenge to just live life and be a little bit more free, be free, it's just, it's, a, it's next level for me. It's a small thing. It's next level for me. So I'm very proud of myself. Clap for yourself. You know, we always need to clap for ourselves. You feel what I'm saying? But you won't let me Something in my brain about you I've been thinking of myself Asking for help But this seems to work on you Yeah lunch obviously as you can see peppers veggies avocado this pep this pepper right here is mad spicy and I got shrimp chicken and steak I guess this is and yeah this pepper yesterday I had it wowzers mad good it's the selection of music for me This is day two of me being like, who's their DJ? <laughs> who who advises them on their playlist? You know, because they were just playing some dance hall earlier. It's definitely a calm <laughs> resort. All right, we are finally making our way to the beach now. And I brought my camera with me. Let's see if I can get content. <laughs> this is really gonna be something. It's really gonna be something. Do something new in my life. <laughs> hey, what a gorgeous view. My mama. One thing I love about Hilton is they have all these different events. Yesterday was the Mexican dinner with the performances and, and they have a lot of other stuff too. So today they're getting ready for a glow party. This is the kids' water park area. So this is this is about to be so nice. So we're gonna come back a little later when it's all lit up and stuff. And they're getting, love. Oh, they're having a nice dinner on the beach situation over there. That is just the cutest. I think anyone can go to that. I don't think that's for a special party. I mean, I don't know. But it just looks so beautiful. It's a candlelit beach dinner situation. Oh my gosh, it's the favor of God. So I walked over to ask questions and he was like, you have to reserve it at the front. I didn't know. There's so many things happening on this resort that you just don't even, it's just hard to know what's what. And it was so nice. So now we're going to have dinner at 8 o'clock and the glow parties at 8.30. So it's perfect. We're already going to be in the area. So why not? Ooh, dinner on the beach with all of the, the lights. It's so pretty. It's like some seafood, something, something. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on and wine and dine me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm already dressed too. I have my swimsuit under this, but that doesn't matter. I, I look good enough. It's good. And this is this is the reason why I just have committed to most days just get up do the makeup have it done do you already done right you know what i'm saying i gotta go back and do makeup because you don't want to look presentable you want to look nice no it's just done i've showered already twice and the makeup is still on and that's all that matters you know what i'm saying so i love it okay good all right here we are on our way to the candlelit beachfront dinner experience it already looks so gorgeous this restaurant is so pretty too and the glow party is ready to rock look at the cruise ship way out there oh my gosh so gorgeous if you like going on cruises let me know what look at these random dogs i am so fed up where is it where is it where is it you see it i can't stand when resorts have random dogs oh my god and they must live here because there's three of them and they don't be oh, okay the man is shooting it away the man is shooting it away honey they don't, they don't want the dog to be at the special dinner, but the dog was definitely at the Mexican dinner yesterday. They don't want the dog to be at this uh, candlelit, candlelit, you know, situation. So annoying. So funny. They got the food right there and the ocean waves crashing. Oh, look at that. So it's grill under the stars. They already gave us this cheese platter situation. And now I'm going to choose the food. They need to come get this damn stray dog out of here. I paid too much money for this foolishness. Not the small drying out my contacts. <laughs> so annoying. I really need to bring some sort of visine for the contacts. I'm, in, I'm irritated. Like, why do I have dry eyes? <laughs> like, it's a problem for me. And this one is not making it any easier. But this is really nice and romantic. That'd be fantastic. You know I love a good drone, okay? And I've got my DJI Mini 2. I thought I charged this, but it died. So it's only at half. I'm not planning to use this for very long. I just want to get some aerial footage and then land it back down, okay, honey? So here we go. Last time I did this was, actually, it was a year ago. Ooh, it's sunny out now, honey. So it gives you alerts. It says, take off precaution. No, what? GPS signal is weak. Oh, bless God. GPS signal weak. Hovering unstable. Fly with caution. <laughs> Not fly with caution. Oh, what are you saying to me? <laughs> Girl, let's go. using this thing because <sighs> let's go inside and it was very <laughs> that was not good it was very windy i'm shaking lesson learned after a bloody finger because i was trying to stop the drone with my hand i was nervous i panicked i haven't used this drone in too long i really should have practiced at home i was overzealous the drone is a little cracked right here but i think it'll still work whenever i decide to do this again i am shaking my adrenaline was rushing like mad okay so we're gonna just put her down <laughs> put her away because we tried i i you know lesson learned i was zealous i really should have been doing this at the beach i should have been doing this like i normally do at sunrise or sunset not too windy the conditions were windy basically follow directions and don't try to be a rebel yeah i learned that follow directions don't try to be a rebel thank you signed jesus here i am having one of my last or the last meal Again, keto. So I have some fish, cheese. This cheese is really s salty. I don't know what it's called, but it's actually really good. Peppers, pico. And I'm actually waiting on my pasta, no pasta. Again, 
Alfredo, high fat, and cheese, high fat. And really the easiest way to go is to eat the same thing every day. A bag of funyuns at the mart here in the in the airport. Um, I'm done. And then I got this gum to try out, sugar-free keto, of course. Chiksa, Chiksa organic Mayan rainforest chewing gum for four dollars. <laughs> wow, this has exported. And then I love how on it it says excessive calories. Of course, it's excessive calories. Manka. What else would it be? <laughs> Thank you. My gum is very different. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Mm -mm. I'm getting stuck to my stuck to my tits. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Four dollar, four dollar gum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, it's easy to feel like there's nowhere to charge your devices, but apparently there are places like this which we had to walk around to find. Right here, next to an 